this is what we will make in this video. Learning how to dynamically change the color of the selected line will allow you to visually engage your end user in your analysis for your next data visualization dashboard. Hi there, my name is Randy and I'm a member of the Data School New York's sixth cohort at the Information Lab. So let's jump right into Tableau and get started. The data set we will be using for this tutorial is the evictions data set from New York City Open Data. You can find the link to this data set in the description below. Feel free to pause the video now, download the data, and upload it into Tableau if you would like to follow along. Otherwise, let's get this show on the road. Okay, so we have the data set loaded into Tableau. In the data pane, as you can see, we have the relevant fields. Our goal will be to show how many court cases there are per borough over the years using a line graph. If the user wants to select a line graph to focus on, then it will dynamically change color, and the viewer will be able to easily focus on the line, or in this case, the borough being referenced. To start, let's navigate to the data pane and find the executed date field. Click and drag it to the column shell. Next, Select the court index number field and drag it to the row shell. We will see all of the court index numbers and an ABC in the column of the year it was filed. We want to see how many have been processed by the year instead. Right click on the court index number pill in the row shell and select measure and then count distinct. Now we have the number of unique court index numbers created by year. Our next step is to view the same idea, but by the borough. Navigate back to the data pane and select the borough pill. Drag it to our marks card and place it on detail. This will add the element of borough as a detail to our graph. And now we will see the number of court index numbers processed by borough over the years. Using our tooltip, we can see that we are getting the results that we wanted. A line for the Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, and Staten Island. If we select a line, it gets highlighted while the other lines get grayed out. Our goal is to have all of them show as the same color initially. When we select one or a few of them, it turns to a completely different color of your choice. To execute on this type of functionality, we will need to utilize sets and set actions. If you would like to learn more about sets and set actions, be sure to check out the set actions in Tableau video linked in the description below. So now let's right click on the borough pill in our data pane. Select create and then set. Let's name it Selected Borough, and then check one of the boxes, any box. I will pick Brooklyn. Press OK. Now, click and drag your Selected Borough pill and drag it to color on the Marks card. Also, right-click on the Selected Borough pill and select Show Set. On the right side of the screen, you will see the burrows that are a part of the set and our color legend. Choose your colors by double clicking on the legend. You can pick from the available color palettes or from the full color spectrum by double clicking on the data item. If I select a line on the graph, we're still getting a result similar to before. However, if I select a borough from the multi-select list on the right, you can see that they dynamically change color depending on which boroughs we place in the set. If I select any number of boroughs, they all change color. We want the same action to occur when we click on any line. So this is where we will create a set action. Navigate to the menu bar and under worksheet, select actions. Choose the radio button for this sheet and then select the drop down for add action. 
click on Change Set Values. Let's name this Selected Borough Set Action. We are working on the current sheet, so leave that alone. We want to run this action when we select a line, so let's set Run Action On Select. The target set is our selected borough. Running the action, in this case, selecting a line, will assign values or boroughs to the set. And when we clear the selection or click off the selected line, we want to remove all values from the set, which for us means that we will be deselecting all boroughs. Great. Press OK, and then press OK again. At this point, when we select a line or any number of lines, they will change color according to the color that we selected earlier. And when we click anywhere else on the graph, they will all turn to the deselected color. Notice that when we select a line, the other lines still gray out. We can take care of this by creating a dummy field to remove the highlighting. To learn more about this, be sure to check out the How to Disable Chart Highlighting and Create a Dummy Highlight in Tableau video linked in the description below. I will navigate to the data pane and select the drop down to create a calculated field. I will name it Dummy and insert some dummy text. Drag this pill to detail in the marks card. Next, navigate back to the worksheet actions. This time we will choose Highlight. I'm going to name it Remove Highlighting. I'm going to keep everything else the same except for Target Highlighting. Choose Selected Fields and then select Dummy. Now we have exactly what we have been aiming for. When we select a line or a series of lines, they dynamically change color. Let's shift to Entire View so we can see clearly. And for styling preferences, I will remove my grid lines. And rename my chart. Number of court cases by borough over time. And there we have it dynamically changing the color of the selected line. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you now feel more confident in dynamically changing the color of the selected line in a line graph. Please check the description of this video for links to additional materials that you might find useful. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'd absolutely love this related how-to video by my fellow data schooler. Click on the thumbnail in the bottom right to watch it next. Subscribe to this channel to get notified when we release new videos.